What's up guys, Jason Wardrop here. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use Google AdWords for beginners in 2018. So Google just barely completely changed their whole AdWords platform. So I wanted to go through and show you guys some of the updates here. And also, Sean commented on one of my videos uh, the other day, and I do a lot of stuff on Facebook advertising and all that good stuff. And he said, hey, what about AdWords? Like, what do you do on AdWords and all that stuff? So I wanted to show you guys just to be completely transparent, I have a lot more experience in Facebook advertising, but I've been able to see some really good results in Google AdWords as well. So guys, also, if you want this little checklist I made for you all of showing you breaking down exactly how I create my campaigns, exactly what boxes to check, to uncheck, the bidding strategy and all that stuff, just comment down below, just comment AdWords. And then also, uh, just for the fun of it, comment with your favorite ice cream, okay? So AdWords, and then whatever your favorite ice cream is. And you don't have a favorite ice cream, then I don't know. Maybe we won't give this to you here. But anyway, guys, so if you guys want that, we'll make sure you guys get that. All right, guys, so this video is going to be specific to setting up a video marketing campaign. And so I'm going to give you the complete rundown, how to set up the campaign, what boxes to check, with all that different stuff. Now, you know, I'll probably make different series as I go through and hit different parts of the AdWords platform. But there's a lot of different things you can do with AdWords. You can set up campaigns uh, for the Google search. Um, Google Display Network. There's a whole different, a bunch of different platforms. I'll show you guys that here in a second. So, as far as like kind of the the beginner tutorial for Google advertising, Google AdWords, this is going to break down the video marketing side of things. Okay, so right here, this is kind of like your main um, advertising platform. So, if you guys are familiar with Facebook advertising, same type of of thing right here. So, what we're going to do is click over here on this plus button. Okay, and like I said, guys. This is the new platform that they, they've just updated. I think they updated like about a month ago. So if you're familiar with the old platform and you're like, man, I'm not really sure how to make this whole new platform work, it's pretty similar. Um, I, I don't know why they always change things, but they do. So this is kind of like the quick rundown, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to click on a new campaign right here. And you guys can see it says select a campaign type. So very similar to how you know Facebook advertising starts out. And what we're going to do is video right here, but you can see all the different options. So you have search. So if someone types into um, the search bar and Google says like basketball shoes or whatever, that'd be able to pop your ad right there. Display is basically like banners on all these different ads or, or uh, not ads, sorry, banners on different blog sites. Shopping, obviously, if you're going through and shopping and universal app, that's kind of like going through and pushing app installs and being on different apps and all that stuff. So what we're going to do is choose video right here. Okay, now guys, I've tested a little bit both on both of these, but what I like to do is typically product and brand consideration. Okay, so brand awareness and reach this is just more of like going through and getting mass exposure for as little as possible. Product and brand consideration. I've, I found like when you're going for conversions and leads, this is the best way to go through and set that up, right? So we're just going to click on this. All right, so then if we're going to come down, it says campaign subtype. Obviously, if you're going through and doing e-commerce or shopping, if you got like a Shopify store, you'll probably want to click on shopping. For me, when I'm just going more for like lead generation of getting people to opt into whatever landing page I've got set up, I like to do standard consideration right here. Okay, so what we'll do now is we'll just click continue and it'll take us into this aspect of things where we choose like our budget, we choose which audience we want to target. And we, you'll see we'll be able to hit a bunch of other things. And like I said, guys, on that uh, little spreadsheet I had for you guys or that little uh, PDF download, as I mentioned, if you guys type in AdWords plus your favorite ice cream, I'll, I'll get you guys that because um, I, I break down exactly all these different things. Even when you get into additional settings, what to do there. And there's some important things where if you don't do it the right way, you're going to end up losing a ton of money, all right? So for this example, let's just say, We've got the test campaign, right? So we want to just give the campaign a name. And then as far as the, the daily budget, this is obviously up to you of what you go through and start with. Like um, I like if you're getting started just barely, I'd say maybe try out 10 to $20 somewhere in there. I typically start out around $25 to $50 depending on the campaign and what my end goal is, how big the audience is. But for this example, let's just say, we'll say 20 bucks per day, right? Also, you guys can see, hey, I'm going to set a campaign total, so I only want to spend $100 or $500 or $1,000 or whatever the number is, so you can switch that up right there. All right, so if we come down here to delivery method, method, so standard is, you can see right here, it says spend your budget evenly over time, okay, versus accelerated, hey, it's going to spend your budget as quickly as possible. So like if you're targeting the words basketball shoes, 
and it, like from 7 to 8 a.m. first thing in the day, there's tons of people searching that. It's going to go through and show your ad as many times as possible right at the gate. But then the rest of the day, it's not really going to show your ad. So I like to go through and I like to use standard. All right, guys. So for start and end dates right here, you can see you can start as soon as possible. You can select a certain date in the future and an end date as well. So you can kind of set that up how you want it. If you want it just ongoing, you just say, you know, as soon as ads are approved and then there's no end date. But then you got to go back in and make sure you're keeping an eye on it so that it doesn't go through and spend tons of money and you have no idea and you owe a lot of money to Google now. Okay, so don't, don't do that. And then networks, guys, this is huge, okay? We want to do YouTube search results, YouTube videos, and we want to uncheck video partners on the display network, right? So the display network, honestly, is more beneficial for Google because it gives them so much more traffic to work with, but it's kind of a different beast, okay? So we want it on YouTube videos and YouTube search results because that keeps everything within YouTube's platform, okay? On YouTube.com as opposed to the display network, where that gets into a wide variety of different sites and we don't really know what's going on there so we just want to stay away from all that. All right, so now if we come down to languages, obviously like if you're running something in English or Spanish or Portuguese or whatever the languages, I like to just go through and make it so it's specific to whatever language I'm doing. So if you're speaking English in the video, you don't want somebody speaking like Hebrew or something like that um, watching your video because they're probably not going to understand it, right? And then locations, Obviously, you could do United States, United States, Canada. That's just all specific to you and your business and what you, where you're really trying to target. Okay, bidding strategy, I always just leave it at maximum CPV. Devices, all eligible devices, just leave it there. Frequency capping, okay? And guys, all of these options, there's a little button that I clicked a little bit earlier that says show more or all settings, and that's these are only gonna show up if you click that. Okay, so don't skip over this because this is huge and you could actually waste a ton of money if you're not doing this correctly, okay? So what we're gonna do over here, it says set a limit to know to how many times your ads appear to the same user, right? So let's say you're going on there, and let's say there's like this 20-year-old kid, so well, let's just say me. I'm going on there, I'm looking for new basketball shoes, right? Like I got all the shoes in the back, I'm always looking for new basketball shoes, I love those, and I'm searching all these videos, and you're saying like, I'm gonna target people um, with this video for people looking for basketball shoes, okay? And I go through and I type in, you know, basketball shoes and I watch one video and it's like LeBron basketball shoes, Kobe the basketball shoes, Michael Jordan basketball shoes. I got all these different ones and I'm seeing your ad so many times and it gets to a point where it's like, okay, it's really annoying to keep on seeing your ad and I get the point. I know what you're talking about. I know what you're, you're trying to get across, right? So we want to go through and limit the amount of times one person is going to go through and see our ad every day and the number of times it's actually going to pop up and show to them. So what we like to do is come over here and say set a number of impressions. And I usually like to do two. And the number of views, I usually like to do one or two. Okay, so one or two. Um, I, I, I don't know. Let's just throw two in here for right now. And then if we come down here, let's say, so content exclusions. Okay, this is another big one. Okay, and I hope, I hope the frequency capping made some sense because this is really important because Lots of times when people go through and search for a specific result or keyword or whatever, they're doing a lot of searches. So like if your ad's gonna keep popping up, keep, keep popping up, just gets annoying, okay? So jumping over here to content exclusions, what I like to do is I like to exclude all mature audiences. And obviously, it depends on your offer, depends on what you're doing, but typically for most offers and all that stuff, you just don't want like that, the mature type videos for your ad to be displayed on there. It's typically like not the best traffic. And then also, I also like to opt out of all three of these. So embedding YouTube videos, live streaming videos, and games. Okay, because like if someone's playing a game, they don't really care about your ad. Sorry, they just they just don't. Um, if they're watching a live stream video, they're and they're interested in what's going on live. They're not interested in your ad. Okay, and then embedded YouTube videos, you don't know where those are going to be embedded. Okay, so I like to go through and um, uncheck those or check all those, and then typically. It's obviously is depending on your audience. I also like to go through and check all of these sensitive content, right? So this you can see all these are beta, sexually suggestive, profanity, sensational, shocking, like all that stuff, social issues. Like you're catching people a lot of times in all that stuff in pretty like emotional situations. So they're not really in the right mindset to go and react and respond to your ad, right? So like I just like to leave it out of there. 
there's a lot of traffic on Google. You don't need to go through and have every single person seeing your stuff. You, you want to catch them at the right time, okay? All right, so ad schedule, all right? This is kind of self-explanatory, but you can say, hey, I want to just run all day, every single day, and that, that's great because you're able to see, okay, is it going to work best on the weekends, on the, um, like, on mid midweek, or what days are going to actually work best? So I typically like to start out by just saying all, all days, every single day. However, for me, I like to run live ads for live trainings, okay? So I do my live trainings every Thursday. So what that means is, like, if I'm running an ad on Thursday, right, after the live training, they got to wait till the next Thursday. It's like, it's almost like too far out in advance. So usually, like, I don't run my ads on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and, and I usually start, like, on Sunday. And so I can say, like, hey, I want to run um, um, Monday from, let's say, just 12.15 a.m. to um, 11.45 p.m. And we hit add. Okay, and then we just go through and we do this for Tuesday, then Wednesday, then Thursday, then Friday, like all the days that I want to run them and specific to that the time zones. Okay, and uh, honestly, like it, it doesn't. I haven't seen a huge difference if you're like running them in the middle of the day or the middle of the night or whatever. I've seen signups on both, so it kind of just depends on. It's more. It's more in your targeting. Okay, which we'll get to here in a second. Right. So that those are kind of like the initial. That's that first top half. Now, what we're going to do is create our ad group, okay? So this gets into more of the targeting of like who we want to specifically target, okay? So our ad group name, we're going to say test, demo, and then the maximum CPV, CPV bid. What does that mean? So it means the maximum cost per view bids, so like how much you're willing to pay for someone to view your video. So like you can see right here, maximum CPV cost per view bid. It's the highest amount you're willing to pay for someone to view your video ad. So Google AdWords is all a bidding system, right? So like if you go through and you only have so much, so many like people watching each video and let's say you've got this basketball shoes video and uh, somebody's willing to pay 20 cents every single time somebody watched that video, okay? Versus another person might be willing to pay 30 cents every single time that person, someone watches that video. So based on this person's daily budget right here, the person that is willing to pay 30 cents, they're going to be in first place and they're going to take priority to all the people viewing the video before the 20 cents person, okay? But then once that person has spent their $20 a day budget, then this person is now going to take priority, okay? So that's kind of how it works, just a bidding. And if you're not getting views, you want to up your budget if you're getting like, you know, if you're spending too much money or whatever, you can like lower your budget a little bit. Where I typically like to start out with this, and this obviously is really depending on um, how competitive your niche, how competitive your market is. I like to start out oop, with 20 cents per view, okay? If you're spending more than that, you're probably spending a little bit more than you really need to. However, if it's a really um, hot niche, it's very competitive, and you're not seeing the views, you might need to up it. Like I, I do have some um, where I go up to like, I think 50 cents, all right? But that's for every single person to watch your video. That's not a lead, okay? Or that's not even someone clicking your video to your website. It's just somebody watching your ad, okay? So that needs, that, I hope you guys get that right there. Okay, and this popular videos bid adjustment, you could say, okay, there's like a really hot popular video, like it hits trending or whatever, they say, hey, you know, if, if there's a popular video, are you willing to spend a little bit more to like be shown on there? And so you could say, hey, I'm willing to spend 50% more, 75% more, whatever. I typically don't do that. I don't really worry about that just because there's enough other traffic, other places that you don't need that. Okay. So moving on, guys, here to the people who you want to reach, the demographics. Okay. This is getting a little bit more into the targeting. Okay. So we could say, okay, based off your product. And this is going to be a little bit different for everyone, right? I'll show you guys what I do. It's going to be a little bit different for everyone. I I work a lot with real estate agents, real estate brokers, loan officers, mortgage brokers, all that. So, female, male, unknown, doesn't really matter. Okay, like doesn't matter the gender. Then over here, typically, if someone's sixty-five plus for my market, they're probably not really going to be actively doing stuff. And I go into like talking about technology stuff. And so sometimes that can be a little bit over their head. And a lot of times, if someone's 18 to 24, 
they're almost a little bit too young to really go through and connect and see my stuff. Whereas like if you got a Shopify store, if you're doing something else, you might be wanting to target more of the younger crowd, younger community. So based on your product, based on your offering, what you're doing, you know, just go through and target those, those um, ages right there. Okay. Parental status. I don't mess anything there. You can. Um, and then household income, just because I'm taking people to a live training and then I'm selling like a fairly high ticket product. I don't want people like, if we don't know their household income, I don't really want that, that traffic because it, it's unknown. Right. And then the lower 50%, I don't want just kind of like freebie secret type people. I want people that are willing to invest in their business into themselves and what they're doing. And then sometimes I uncheck this one. It's kind of like a back and forth thing. But basically, based off of like the, the product amount that you're selling and who you're working with, you can go through and check on or off the household income items. All right. So now, guys, here is where we can get detailed on who we want to target. Okay. So the audiences, so you only want to do one of these four, okay? You don't want to do all of them. You want to just do one of the four, and I'll show you guys kind of how to go through and um, use each and every one of these, okay? So the audiences, so this one, this affinity, okay? That means groups of people based on their long-term interests. So you can click on this, and you can go through. What you have to do is you've got to create an affinity audience first. I wouldn't really start here. I, like... I've, I've tested a little bit, but I haven't really gotten to this a lot. So I, I would just like leave that to the side if you're just getting started. Um, intent and life events, you see like in market audiences. Okay. So like they're in market for automotives, automotives, business services. It's like you can go through and target like they're in the market for real estate, right? For software. You got all these different um, options right there. Remarketing. This is really cool because you can remarket to everyone who's watched one of your YouTube videos before. Anyone that subscribed to your channel, you can remarket to anyone that's visited your website. Okay, so like you could set up your Google um, Google tracking, your Google Analytics on your site, and then anyone that's visited your site, your blog, your landing page, whatever, you can remarket to them on Google. So now you can go through and show your ads to them on Google, on Facebook, on Instagram, and then you're like everywhere, right? So that's pretty cool. And then you could also upload a customer database. Um, you can see YouTube users. Similar audiences, that's kind of like Facebook's lookalike audiences. It's so like once you upload, let's say, um, everyone who's watched your YouTube videos, like let's say that's maybe a thousand people, what Google will do is they'll automatically create what's called a similar audience to the people that have already watched your video. Okay, so it has to get to a certain level, it has to have so many people in the audience. I want to say it's a thousand, not 100% sure on that. But then they'll automatically create it. Okay, you don't have to go through and create it. They just automatically create it there. And so you can see I've got several similar audiences based off of leads and other things that I've uploaded there. Okay, so those are kind of the audiences. If you pick one of these, you don't pick any of these. All right, that's that's my words of wisdom right there. Okay, and then you would just skip down here to create your video ad, which we'll get to that here in a second. And then, um, or so you can go through and say, hey, I want to target a keyword. Okay, so the keywords would be like, so for example, if I want to type in basketball shoes, Kobe basketball shoes, or um, LeBron, whatever, you know, so like you go through, and I wouldn't really type in more than five keywords per, um, per ad group that you're creating right here, just because what happens typically is Google will go through, and they'll see like, oh, basketball shoes getting a lot. And they won't even really go through and show it to these other keywords. They'll just show all to this specific one right here. Okay. So I, I probably want to do that. Or you can go through it. You can see, you know, enter enter a related website to get keyword ideas. It's so like you could enter in your competitor's website and get some ideas or, you know, your product or service or whatever. So some cool things you can do right there. So basically, like when someone types in basketball shoes, your video would show up as a video ad um, when you're setting that all up. Okay, so now any topic right here, this is pretty general. I would stay away from this in my personal opinion, and I'll let you guys know. So actually, I'll just share with you right now. I would start out, if you guys are just getting started out, I would start out with the audiences and remarketing. Remarketing people have already watched your videos, your customer list, people have visited your website. That's going to be your warmest, best bet. You're going to get your best results right out of the gate. Okay, then from there... I would probably go through and maybe target some keywords 
and then even the next one is placement so this topics you can see right here people that are interested in like games or health or hobbies or whatever you just got all these different um, options and then um, and remember guys if you choose topics you're not going to use either one of these other ones you're just going to pick one or the other okay and then the placements you can say hey I want to go through this is actually pretty cool you can come in here and say I want to choose where my video is placed so I can go through and say I want to go through and search for YouTube channels YouTube videos websites or whatever so we can say hey um, basketball shoes okay and then when we type that in we can say okay we want the YouTube channels or YouTube videos so we look at this and look at this this is gonna be the top searches for when you type in basketball shoes so we just click all of these and then if our bidding's high enough would somebody like this is basically an, uh, a quick and easy way to get ranked number one in Google for your video, right? Because all these videos are already ranked on the first page for basketball shoes. So if you want people to see your stuff, all you got to do is shoot that video and go say, hey, I want my ad to run on these specific videos on page one. So you can so say basketball shoes or LeBron shoes or something like that. Let's say something and uh, we come in here, choose all these. And then um, anyway, so you kind of see the idea and you can choose all these videos to go through and show your stuff to you So like I'll usually pick about 20 to 30 videos in there to show my my ads to just so like there's enough traffic enough people watching um, But obviously that's based based off of your keyword that you're typing in here in the videos that you're choosing All right, All right, so now we're getting into the ad portion Okay, so let's just choose a random video Okay, we obviously you want to you want to choose your video. You don't want to choose just a random one. So like, let's say you can tell I've been watching a lot of basketball videos lately. Um, we'll just choose this one right here. But obviously, this is like what you want to do is you want to go through and use the video that you uploaded because this is going to be your ad, right? And when you upload it, you want to make it unlisted, okay? So that not everyone on your channel seen it because it's probably a little bit different type of ad. Or video than your typical videos on your YouTube channel so you want to make it unlisted so that nobody else can see it unless they have the direct URL and so now we're gonna come over here we're gonna throw this video in here and then what I do is I do the in stream ad all right and then I'll just show you guys the actual landing page I use right here okay so I'm just gonna come in here throw in the URL final URL display and you give it an ad name and hit save and continue and you're done okay now really quick let me hit a few things on the landing page because Google's actually when you're setting up these AdWords campaigns they're pretty specific about what you can do what you can't do and it, it's kind of a pain in the butt sometimes sometimes you got to get your your AdWords rep on the phone and kind of have them look at stuff okay so if you look at this first of all I've got a star up here Okay, so I said the simple system a real estate agent newbie used a three extra commissions in just 37 days. Now, Google will look at that, and if I don't have a star up there, they're gonna be look like, oh, well, you're promising that, and not every person's gonna get that, which is true. Like I 100 percent agree that's not true. Um, that every person's gonna get it, but I'm saying a real estate agent newbie. I'm not saying that everyone, I'm not promising that they're gonna get it. So then you got to come down here and say a disclaimer. Okay, these sales figures stated above are my personal sales figures. So something kind of like that, just basically a little disclaimer. And then even like right here, Jason Wurzel, real estate lead generation specialist, in the last 12 months has generated over 28,500 real estate leads. I even have to put a disclaimer on the stuff that I say I've done, okay? And then every single one of these bullet points, I put a disclaimer, um, just some different things like that. Then you need your contact information. You need an email, you need a phone number, you need the terms of service, privacy policy. These things are all like kind of a pain in the butt. But they are one you have to have them to get approved and second uh, for legal purposes you also need to have them okay so those are a few different items on your landing page or whatever page that you're sending people to and if you're doing e-commerce like a Shopify store you still need that stuff you still need contact information you still need terms of service privacy well, all that stuff so it's not just if you're running it to like a landing page or whatever okay so you give an ad name you hit demo you hit save and continue and you're done right so anyway guys hopefully that was helpful as far as like the complete um, AdWords tutorial for beginners here in 2018 kind of with all the new updates that Google has with their advertising platform 
So um, if you guys have questions, go ahead and leave a question down there in the bottom. Also, if you guys want, I'll show you guys this one more time. This little PDF right here. Um, just comment down below. Comment AdWords and then comment whatever your favorite ice cream is, as I mentioned before, and I can get you guys that download so that you guys can have that as you're going through creating this. You have the check step by step checklist, and so you can know exactly what you should be doing, so you're not wasting tons of money and your advertising dollars are being best spent. All right. So anyway, guys, thanks so much again for watching today. Um, if you guys are brand new here to my channel, my name is Jason Wardrop. I launch a video every single day on how to generate more leads, make more money, grow your business. So if you guys liked it, give it a thumbs up, comment down below with any questions, make sure you guys subscribe. And with that said, I will see you all tomorrow.